In life, we come under influences. We're influenced from the moment of conception. Most of those influences form what the work calls false personality. The work further breaks those influences into three categories, A, B, and C influence. A influence comes from life. It's basically what teaches us how to live in life. Our parents, siblings, teachers, education, family, things of that nature influence us, helping us to form both good and bad aspects of our personality. People can have good personalities or bad personalities, or better personalities and worse personalities. The sun and the moon influence us both physically and mentally. If we get too much sun on our bodies, our body's skin burns. If we have too little sun, our bodies and our minds may suffer. We know that our bodies will suffer by not having enough of the vitamins the sun provides. We know that people who are deprived of sunlight often mentally become depressed and emotionally low or down. Many of the emotional wounds that we receive during childhood begin to fragment our developing personality. And these later cause problems, long-standing problems, throughout our life. The influences come from life as well, but they have their origin outside of life. In other words, they come through life, but they're not a direct result of life in and of itself, like A influences are. B influences come from scriptures, religions, spiritual teachers, music, art, things of that nature. These influences are collected through what the work calls magnetic center. And these influences, B influences, actually help to form magnetic center in a person. B influencers are not necessary to fulfill life's purpose for us. In other words, we can die just fine without them. This is by no means an exhaustive list of what these A and B influences are. A influences can also include planetary influences, and some people would look at that through astrology. B influences could be other influences as well that we haven't talked about outside of books, scriptures, teachers, music, art. They may be just experiences that we actually have at another level through things that happen to us in life. For example, you may have a, a severe sickness that brings you close to death. Something happens in a person, often something happens in a person when that happens, when they wake up a little bit. They become aware of something more than life, something greater, something beyond just the everyday A influence life that we lead, that the body leads. C influences come from outside of life, from what the work calls the conscious circle of humanity. The conscious circle of humanity is made up of those who have discovered the truth of life. They've discovered man's purpose in life, and they've discovered the way to realize that purpose, to actually manifest it in order to become what man can become, to realize his possibility, his potential. They are those who have basically fought the battle of eyes, the many different eyes that we have, that come from the emotional wounds that we received during childhood, that fragment our developing personality. They have fought the battle. They have healed those emotional scars. And they have developed one eye with one will, something that the rest of us don't have. But imagine that we do have. These influences are like the rays of the sun. They're present, but we've got to find a way to receive them. If you're indoors and the sun cannot get to you, then you can't be influenced directly by the sun. So you have to get yourself in a position where you can be influenced directly by the sun. In other words, get out of the shade. This can only be accomplished through the use of more than one center, according to this system, the fourth way system. It's something we don't do without training and practice. Generally, we receive influences in just one center. Since we have basically three centers, it makes us rather unbalanced. And so it makes it difficult for us to fully receive the benefits of any influences that are available to us. So this is the ABCs of influence, as the fourth way teaches it. And that's about as far as we can go with a light podcast. For a deeper treatment of these ideas, I'd like to refer you to James World Fat. Next time, we'll take a look at the fourth way system by the numbers. Three different kinds or the three different levels of man. <laughs>